Hello everyone. I have some exciting news to share today. Congress has just passed a new stimulus bill that will send out immediate payments of $5,200 to Americans receiving Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA benefits. This is huge news, as many seniors, veterans, and disabled Americans have been struggling financially during the pandemic. This new round of stimulus checks will provide some much-needed relief. The $5,200 payments will be sent out automatically to anyone receiving the aforementioned benefits. You do not need to sign up or apply. The money should arrive in the next few weeks via direct deposit, paper check, or debit card depending on how you normally receive your benefits. I know we've all been anxiously awaiting another stimulus payment, and I'm thrilled that our leaders in Washington were able to come together and make this happen. $5,200 per person will go a long way towards covering expenses and stimulating the economy. This bill is proof that the voices of seniors, veterans, and disabled Americans are being heard. I applaud our lawmakers for passing legislation so quickly that targets relief to some of our most vulnerable populations. The next few weeks will surely be exciting as the $5,200 payments start hitting bank accounts across the country. I encourage everyone eligible for this stimulus money to consider how you can use it to improve your financial situation. Whether it's paying off debts, covering health care costs, or starting an emergency fund, this new influx of cash presents a real opportunity. I will be sure to keep you updated as more details about the stimulus rollout become available. For now, celebrate knowing that additional aid is on the way soon thanks to the passage of this historic bill. Our government is working hard to support us during these difficult times. There is hope ahead. After months of heated negotiations, our leaders in Washington have come together in a rare bipartisan effort to get cash into the hands of our most vulnerable citizens. Many seniors, veterans, and disabled individuals have been deeply impacted financially by the ongoing pandemic. This new stimulus package is designed specifically with those groups in mind. The core component of the newly passed bill is the distribution of $5,200 payments to every eligible recipient of Social Security, Supplemental Security Income, Social Security Disability Insurance, and Veterans Affairs benefits. For those struggling to make ends meet on fixed incomes or facing high medical costs, this influx of over $5,000 per person will come as an absolute godsend. Just think of what a difference that money will make in the lives of so many. With a single deposit, Bills can be paid off, prescriptions can be filled, and pantries can be stocked. Some may choose to save a portion for an emergency cushion or to pay for future expenses. However you choose to use the funds, $5,200 goes a long way. The great news is that if you receive any of the benefits I mentioned, you do not need to sign up, apply or do anything special to receive your $5,200 stimulus payment. As long as you are an active beneficiary, the money will be sent out automatically via the method you normally receive your benefits whether that be direct deposit, check, or government debit card. Given how quickly Congress pushed this bill out, the expectation is that the IRS will begin distributing funds within a matter of weeks. I know how long many of you have waited for additional relief, so rest assured that help is now squarely on the horizon. This legislation is rightfully being praised for targeting aid to vulnerable groups that may have been overlooked by previous stimulus bills. Seniors, veterans, and the disabled often live on fixed incomes and have limited ability to increase their earnings. Many have been struggling for months, as benefit increases have not kept pace with inflation and rising living costs. By focusing specifically on those relying on Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA benefits, Lawmakers have ensured stimulus funds will reach the Americans who need it most right now. Not only is this the right thing to do morally, it is prudent economically. These groups are very likely to spend the money quickly, spurring local economic activity and growth. The passage of this $5,200 stimulus bill is also a strong indicator that the voices and concerns of seniors, veterans, and the disabled are being heard loud and clear. For too long, these groups have felt marginalized or even ignored by politicians in Washington. But this legislation shows our leaders understand the real day-to-day -day hardships these Americans face. By standing up for those who have served our country, worked their entire lives, or faced disabilities, our elected officials are finally doing right by these communities. I applaud them for crafting a bill that shows compassion towards millions of Americans in need. 
These stimulus payments will validate that our most vulnerable citizens still have value. The persistent activism and advocacy from these groups and their allies clearly made an impression. Constituent stories about struggles with poverty, hunger and lack of access to medicine brought much-needed awareness and education to Congress. It demonstrates that ordinary citizens can enact real change. While there is certainly more work to be done, we should take a moment to recognize how historic this stimulus package is. Just a short time ago, another round of direct payments seemed unlikely at best. But thanks to the people demanding action, a bill Taylor made for their needs is now becoming law. $5,200 per person will improve countless lives. As the specifics of the stimulus rollout continue to be finalized, I urge patience and calm. Your money is coming, folks have faith. The government is working diligently under emergency conditions to distribute the billions of dollars in relief authorized by Congress. With a program of this massive scale, some delays and complications are inevitable. But rest assured, whether by direct deposit, check or debit card, $5,200 is coming your way if you receive Social Security, SSI, SSDI or VA benefits. It will likely arrive in the next few weeks to a month or so. I understand waiting can be difficult, but your patience will be rewarded. For anyone concerned about fraud or scams related to this new program, remember that you should not have to provide any personal information or make any payments to receive your stimulus relief. The government already has the data it needs based on your benefit eligibility. Follow the guidance of official government agencies only when it comes to this stimulus program. Do not trust random offers that arrive via phone, email, or text. These are certainly challenging and chaotic times we find ourselves in. But the passage of this historic stimulus bill proves there is still hope, generosity, and compassion to be found, even in Washington. $5,200 can go a long way for those in need. I will be sure to keep everyone updated with new information as the stimulus rollout progresses. Stay positive, stay strong, and look out for each other. Better days are ahead, my friends. Verify your eligibility, watch closely for delivery of your automatic payment, and use the funds wisely. I know you're probably tired of all the talk and excited to have that extra cash in hand. Well, the wait is almost over. The government kept its promise and $2,800 will soon be on its way directly to America's deserving seniors. Enjoy gaining some breathing room in your budget and here's to a secure, vibrant future ahead. Though stimulus payments are sent out automatically, you may encounter issues accessing your funds. Here are some potential problems and how to resolve them. Problem, payment never arrived. Solutions. Double check your eligibility status. Income limits apply. Call the IRS or SSA for assistance locating your payment. Update your direct deposit and mailing information if incorrect. File a missing payment report and request a payment trace. Problem, payment was in a lower amount than expected. Solutions. Verify your income, number of dependents and tax details which can affect amount. Review the eligibility and payment rules to confirm you qualified for the full $5,200 based on income. Contact the IRS slash SSA if you believe the amount is incorrect. Problem, prepaid debit card with payment was lost slash stolen. Solutions. Call the number on the back of the card right away to report it lost or stolen. Request a replacement card be issued with the remaining balance. Update your contact info so future payments go to your bank account instead. Problem, deposited payment listed your name incorrectly. Solutions. Contact your bank to explain the name discrepancy and verify the funds. Provide documentation to prove the payment was issued to you if requested. Have the bank fix the name on your account so it matches government records. Being proactive helps resolve any issues that crop up with your stimulus payment. Don't panic, simply reach out to the relevant agencies for assistance fixing any problems. How to ensure you get all the stimulus you deserve. Want to guarantee you receive the full $5,200 stimulus payment you're entitled to? Here are some tips. File your latest tax return even if not required, file to establish income eligibility. Check your benefit eligibility confirm you receive SSI, SSDI, VA, or Social Security benefits to qualify. 
Update direct deposit info having current bank account info ensures timely payment delivery. Review dependents listed the number of dependents impacts your payment amount. Ensure no identity theft file an identity theft affidavit with the IRS if someone fraudulently uses your identity. Fix errors quickly if any information is incorrect, work with the SSA to update right away. Keep records save confirmation of payment details, eligibility, and any communications. Report issues, inject ICEP. If you encounter any problems at all, notify the IRS or SSA promptly. Understand the rules know exactly which eligibility criteria qualify you for stimulus payments. Seek assistance don't hesitate to call or visit SSA slash IRS offices to ensure you receive full amount. With some proactivity on your part, you can guarantee no obstacles stand between you and the stimulus money issued. Make sure you do everything possible to maximize your payment. This latest round of $5,200 stimulus checks offers substantial financial relief at a time when inflation, recession worries, and rising costs burden Americans. Ensure you receive your full payment promptly by understanding eligibility and tracking status. Act fast once funds arrive to put the money to good use based on your needs. Being proactive allows you to take full advantage of this opportunity and make every dollar count. Stimulus payments provide a lifeline don't hesitate to grab yours. With proper planning, this additional government aid can kickstart better financial security. With inflation on the rise in 2023 and the cost of housing, food, gasoline and other essentials continuing to increase, many Social Security recipients are struggling to make ends meet. The good news is that there are reports that the government may approve up to three direct payments totaling $2,400 for those receiving Social Security benefits in March 2024. This extra money would provide critical relief to the millions relying on Social Security to cover their basic expenses. In this in-depth article, we'll discuss the details of these potential stimulus payments for SSI, SSDI, and regular Social Security beneficiaries. Read on to find out who may qualify for the potential new direct payments, when the money could arrive and how it would be distributed, how much you might receive based on your specific benefit, what you need to do to make sure you get the full amount owed, the spending limitations and rules attached to these potential payments, how these new funds could impact your other government benefits, additional financial resources that may be available to seniors and disability recipients, with the proper information, Social Security recipients can prepare for the possibility of up to $2,000 in extra support this March. Let's get started exploring everything there is to know. Who would qualify for the potential new stimulus payments? If approved, the direct payments would likely go to all categories of Social Security recipients. This includes Retirees collecting regular Social Security retirement benefits Survivors receiving Social Security Survivors Benefits Disability Recipients Getting SSDI, Social Security Disability Insurance SSI, Supplemental Security Income, Recipients The key requirement would be that you are already actively receiving payments from Social Security as of the eligibility date for the stimulus payments. These likely won't be payments going out to all seniors or people with disabilities universally.